We haven't talked about Ocean Power Technologies uh, in, in quite a while. It's been January 6th of 2025 at a price of $1.45. So you know where this stock is sitting at right, right now. So let's talk about what the company uh, is, is doing, uh, what some catalysts may be, and where this may be, uh, may be headed. So first to start off with, uh, Ocean Power Technologies just reported their, uh, their earnings in the, in the last couple of weeks, and it was actually a little bit better than, than a lot had thought. The share price was rebounding from the 50 cents or so area up into the 80 cents uh, per share area. Uh, so it was building some nice momentum. But of course, now we've hit some more tur market turbulence and a lot of sell off in some of the uh, technology shares names. So where do we go from here and what's going on? Well, 2025 has been a rough year for Ocean Power Technologies Inc., OPTT. Uh, but they still have uh, are, are gathering or garnering some interest amongst individual retail type investors. Doesn't get much play from the analysts, but with ocean intelligence, power buoys. So the power buoys are again they're generating electricity off of off of the ocean. Pretty cool. Um, autonomous surface vehicles. Uh, you know, scouting intelligence. The oceans are vast. They are big. And then they also had a recent partnership or alliance with Redcat. So you've got things by sea and you've got things by, by water, uh, which makes things uh, quite, quite interesting. Companies also had some successful cash raises and one as recently as this, this past May, which is putting fresh money into their coffers. So they're able to still raise money. They're in some pretty exciting uh, spaces. So again, defense uh, with the with the oceans, working closely with the Navy, uh, energy. Uh, again, they can generate they can generate electricity with the power buoys, and then science, uh, kind of science and the technology, uh, reusable uh, power and, and and the like, offering some some good surveillance and intelligence information. So they're in some interesting spaces. So what happened when they produced uh, earnings in the last couple of weeks? Well. Revenue was up six percent over the prior prior year. Uh, cash flow, um, well, we're still in the negative there, but expenses were trimmed back a bit, but still bleeding red ink. They do have access to cash. That's the important the important thing. The pipeline is growing. They're reporting a pipeline of 137 million dollars, uh, which is possible future contracts and, and sales. The backlog is is estimated at 12 and a half million. This is this is positive, and again, this is for a company that did about 5.6 million, 5.9 million for all of 2025. Their fiscal year just ended recently, and that's the the report. So from here going forward, it's 2026. Let's take a look at some of the fundamentals, and price movements, and see what we think about that. So Ocean Power Technologies, this is a speculative company, but with the speculation, can come a huge reward. So this is always, always remember, specul speculative, uh, long-term uh, typically is what you need to do. And don't bet the whole house on just ocean power technologies. I have a considerable amount of shares, but this is an inexpensive company, and I'm willing to wait it out for quite a while to see where this technology develops. We are in a new era of defense, defense spending, and new ways of uh, keeping the shoreline safe for our country, the United States, and allies and other would-be countries as, as well. So with a market cap of $92.7 million, this is a small cap company. Uh, again, revenue is uh, smallish as well, under $6 million, but showing some signs of growth. Uh, at a price point of 52.2 cents per share, this is small, this is, uh, so, so be prepared. Year to date, we're down 49%. Uh, over one year, we're up 149%, and over five years, down 37%. So that means this company has traded between $0.14 cents a share and $1.75 a share uh, in the last 52 weeks. So it's had a wide range. But what are some of the things? Why, can, this, can this company be, be turned around? Can this, can this grow? What am I doing with Ocean Power Technologies? Well, they are showing signs of, of a bottoming, a recovery both in the share point, share, share price. And did management make full, full good on what they promised us, which was stronger revenue growth? No, but it is improving. 
They told us that they were going to have positive cash flow. Well, it didn't quite happen, but the losses are, are cutting back. Are they in some hot sectors that could explode and do really good for this company? You got it. That's why we're here. That's why we're sticking. And we're going to keep a close eye on this and see where it goes. I think overall, there, there is a reason for hope. But this company has been around for a long time and it's been under, it has underperformed. Hope this helps you if you're looking for a decision. Speculative, very interesting, some good technology and in an area where, where uh, there could be some great growth in the near term as well as long term. As for me, again, holding, not growing the position, but holding and looking for more catalysts for a big jump forward. Let me know what you're doing and we'll talk again soon.